Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to be doing some reading right now. You're going to be needing your reading books, um, your packet books. We're going to be doing pages 95, 96, and 97. So please, if you could get those out, you can do it along with me. If you would rather watch the video and then get your books out, that's fine as well. And then watch and as you go and work. However, it works best for you. But right now, I'm going to be starting on page 95. So the letter sound we're working with today is the O sound, which is the L sound. The O, like in layup. Oh, okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at these pictures in our first row. We're going to be circling the pictures that begin with the O oh sound. And in our second row, we're going to be hearing the letter L sound at the end of the word. Remember, we talk a lot about beginning is the first sound you hear. And we talk a lot about how the end is the last sound you hear. So please keep that in mind. Um, my first row i have a picture of the o -ak. okay so if i put the sounds o -ak together i get the word lock circle it to challenge yourself boys and girls leg is something that right now you probably should at least be able to sound out a little bit to spell the whole entire word so if i do that right now i already know that it's i circled it so i know it starts with the l l e e e which is my E sound, and then the G, G sound, leg. So if you wanted to write in leg, you for sure can do that as well. Down here on the bottom row, I am going to be looking for the pictures that have the O sound at the beginning or the end. But here I have a picture of a wheel, wheel. I do hear it there, so I would make an uppercase L and then a lowercase L for wheel. And how about leaf? We did this on the other page. I know for sure that leaf starts with an L. So I have two on the top and two on the bottom, it looks like. Both of those. So lip and leaf both start with L and pool and wheel both end with L. You should be able to recognize the L sound at both the beginning and the end of our words. All right, one last page we have. 97, talking about our sight words. One, two, and three. We use these a lot in class. I like number words because I think they're easy to tell apart. It's not necessarily easy to read. I think they're challenging to read, but none of them are exactly, a, they don't really look alike or um, even have the same letters or the same number letters. I just think they're easy to tell apart, especially when we are able to count to 10 and knowing that these words go along with the numbers makes it easier in my opinion, I think. So we are going to be talking about our sight words, one, two, and three. Okay, so this is the number word one, this is the number word two, and this is the number word three. You're going to be reading the sentences and underlining the sight words at the bottom that we have been working with. So my first sentence reads, I have one. So they did it for you. And remember, they're talking about the number one. So you either have one of something, or that's how old or you're, you could be, or you're turning to the page number one. These all are number words. So this little girl or this little boy actually has one apple in his hand, okay? And I guess that's what he's saying. He has one. He held up the number one. And she's saying back, I have two so she has two apples in her hand and then they're asking a question because i know because i have my question mark at the end a question sentence can we have three so my last word i would want to underline is right there which is three can is a sight word we is a sight word and have is a sight word this is a sentence you should be able to read to mom and dad on your own please keep that in mind so are both of these but this one's a little bit longer. All right, that is all I have for you for reading today. And I hope you have a great day.